A settlement has been reached in a forced birth control lawsuit, and now a new law is on the books in Tennessee. White County jail inmates involved in the suit are receiving a quarter of a million dollars. The federal lawsuit stemmed from an order issued by a Tennessee judge in May of 2017. Nexus Services Incorporated held a news conference in August on the day the civil lawsuit was filed in Nashville. Forced eugenics by government agencies is a thing of the past, and let it be this court that says to White County and any other government entity and agency across these United States that this type of unconstitutional, reprehensible action shall not stand. Mike Donovan is the president and CEO of Nexus Services Incorporated. His company funded the federal lawsuit against Tennessee Judge Sam Benningfield, White County Sheriff Odie Shoup, Deputy Donna Daniels, and White County. According to the lawsuit, Sheriff Shoup ordered Deputy Daniels to encourage female inmates to get the Nexaplanon implants in exchange for a 30-day reduced sentence. This is the, an evil representation of the absolute opposite of investing in people's futures, and it, and it shall be defeated and let it be defeated here. Former White County Sheriff Odie Shoup allegedly carried out the judge's order. Shoup is no stranger to lawsuits. He recently faced litigation brought by the widow of an unarmed man. Shoup authorized deputies to kill the man during a police chase in April. Reportedly, Shoup left the sheriff's office in September and will not seek re-election. What we determined to be the facts are so much more insidious than what we initially thought by reading the judge's order. Judge Benningfield issued an order on May, 5th, uh, May 15th uh, related to the um, use of vasectomies and installed birth control devices to reduce jail sentences. However, our plaintiff received her surgery on May 5th, 10 days before the entrance of this order. 42 male inmates agreed to vasectomies. 35 female inmates were allegedly coerced into being injected with Nexaplanon, which is a birth control implant. Chief civil rights lawyer for Nexus, Derechos Humanos Incorporated, Mario Williams, says the judge could have chosen a more viable solution. He had a host of other options if he wanted to do it sentence to say, hey, you can do this, that, or the other if you do this. He chose the most oppressive, the most high, highly regarded incentive to someone who has had their freedom taken away was to get out of jail. So you can't start this off by saying, hey, well, why did you agree to it? No, you start off by talking about the constitutional right at issue. And once you start off with the constitutional right at issue, and then you say, do you have a right to be free from government interference while making this important decision about your reproductive rights and procreation? And you do. That's not me saying it. The Supreme Court said it. In exchange of birth control surgical procedures, the inmates were given a 30-day reduced jail sentence. Donald Daniels uh, kept coming in our classroom, or in our uh, pods, and she was just, uh, everybody's getting 32 days of two days for the class and 30 days for getting it. And she kept coming in there and trying to get everybody to sign to get uh, the implant. That's Crystal Ward. Ward was among the White County Jail inmates who had Nexiplan on birth control implanted in their arms. She was required to pay to have it removed. I want this out of my arm and I'm still not allowed to get it out until I pay and I can't come up with $250 to get this out. I would like to see a judge declare this particular uh, order unconstitutional. I would like to see all the defendants held liable and I would like to see everyone affected by this to be compensated. According to Donovan, a new law bans Tennessee officials from luring inmates into having implants or vasectomies. Elaine Rackley for Breaking Through News.